The first thing you're going to want to do is go to teachwithkoala.com. Then you're going to choose whether you want Koala Go or Koala 3D. I'm going to show you Koala Go. So you're going to click on Koala Go and then open Koala Go. This is how you're going to sign up for a new account. It is super easy signing in. You're just going to sign in even if you've never had an account before. So sign in with your email and then it's going to send you a magic sign in link. All you have to do is type in your email and then click sign in. Email sent. Now you're going to go check your email. This is the email you're going to get. This is all it is. All you have to do to click, all you have to do to log on is click the login. And then voila, you are in the classroom. To invite a student, all you are going to do is click on invite student and then copy the link that pops up and share it with your student. After your student joins, you are going to see something here pop up in the lower right hand corner and you will just click accept if it's the right student and reject if the wrong student is trying to enter your classroom. This is your control panel for your camera. So you can mute and unmute, start and stop the video. The settings gear wheel is going to allow you to change your camera, your speaker, and your microphone. This button allows you to share your screen and over here will allow you to move to full screen so you have big pictures of you and your student. So we're going to start off by typing something. So if you just click the little text icon, the little A at the bottom there, and you click on the screen, you can now type things. You can highlight them and move them. You can use the cursor to move them as well. By clicking on the pencil, you can start drawing and you can choose the color that you want to draw with as well as the size using the sidebar. So you can draw and use different colors and different sizes. The undo button is going to allow you to undo the last thing that you did. So whether it was moving something, changing the color, whatever you want to do. The shared browser is the shared co-browsing. So you only have access to that with the pro plan. That's where you and your student both have control over the mouse. Click reward to give your students some stars. And I'll show you what happens with that later. You can add additional whiteboards by clicking the plus sign. And if you want to delete one that you made, you can always delete one that you made as well. Click on the little person up there and you can see, you can send invoices, invite students, look at your activities and change your Koala subscription. So here are your activities. These are different whiteboards that you can use. And you can see it'll open up the whiteboard. It will open up whatever you did last in that room. So whatever you have there, it's going to open it up and you can rename it to the student's name. So the next time, you know, the next time Joseph comes in here, you can open up the exact same whiteboard that you already had the last time. But you'll see here, I was playing and I doodled on one of them and it will show up the next time I come in. So if that was a student's classroom, you can save that for the next time they come in, which is different on Zoom. You can't do that. Now, if you go back to Teach with Koala, you can actually go into the marketplace and find curriculum to use. So if you look up ESL, you can find different ESL activities. A lot of these are free. Actually, right now, all of them are free. They will have paid ones eventually. And you can see here that a lot of them would do better with co-browsing, but I'm going to show you one of the curriculum options that is available. So you'll just share your screen. And this is from Abridge Academy, but um, you can see here, hello. Sing, hello, how are you? And you can draw on the screen as well using the, the little pencil up there and you can erase it. Hello, how are you? This is what we're gonna review. There's a match the cards game so they can match. There's a lot of games in there. This one is a fill in the blank. So co-browsing would work really good. This is great if you have the pro plan. How are you? And then the student will just find the one that fits in there and match it. I'm great. I'm tired. Just kidding. I'm great. How are you? I'm tired. So they're going to listen and match. And this is free. Now, if you don't have shared co-browsing and you still want to do things, you can still go in to the Koala Activities portion of that and pick things that will actually load right into the classroom. 
Here you can move different things around. So you can see you can move the ornaments around, you can move the lights around. If you can't move something around, then you'll just unlock it and you can ask them questions like, what shape is it? What color is it? And see, I can't move this one. So I'm gonna go over here. Oops. See, I can't move it. So I'm gonna go over here to where it says lock. I'm gonna unlock it. And then the student and myself would be able to move it. And you can twist them and turn them and decorate the tree however you want to while you're teaching your student vocabulary. I just randomly picked a Christmas one. I know it's not Christmas. If you're watching this when I record it, I apologize. And the tree is complete. My masterpiece is beautiful. Let's see what the next page is. Do you want to build a snowman? So I can teach vocabulary. What are these? What is this? It's a carrot. What color is it? It's orange. What are these? They're eyes. What are they made out of? This is a scarf. And I've got my little snowman. Now this is cool. I'm going to show you how you can also use the pages here. So I'm going to tell Joseph to write the word hi. So he's going to write the word hi. Oh, good job, Joseph. Now I'll give, you know, I'll, I'll give him a star here too. But then we're going to go over to the reward system here, which I'm using this classroom game. And he gets to move Santa. He can move Santa using the cursor uh, over to the first place. So you can play different games in the classroom too. And then I'll come back over here and I'll be like, hey, I want you to... Uh, you know, draw something in pink. I want you to write the word pink in the color pink and then he can actually write it on the screen and good job. Then we can go back over and now there are built-in games in the classroom and he can actually control them as well. So we're going to go check out the next slide. It is so little. It's so little. So you could just make it big by highlighting it. But there's an easier way. If you click on this button over here, fit to screen, boom, it makes it the exact right size. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to dress up this elf and make it pretty. Again, this could be a reward system too. You could keep them, you know, all locked. You could tell them what they have to move. You can use it as free talk. Use these how you want to use them. And um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and show you my beautiful artistic skills and draw a little smiley face on there and make this elf really creepy. Isn't he beautiful? And we'll just look at the other Christmas ones that are in this package. Again, it is way too small, so we make it big. And then we're going to move it. Whoops. Undo that. Use the cursor. And then we're going to move it. And you see the potato is behind the plate. We don't want the potato behind the plate. So what we can do here, it's the same thing. What we can do here is you can use the arrows that are in the left panel there to bring something forward or backward so that you can actually put the items on the plate. So if that happens, all you got to do is click that little arrow there. Go to the next one. Way too big. Fit to screen really quick. And you can see this is a Christmas card activity. This is my favorite part. We're going to open up the playground. I have three nuts. So we're going to collect nuts and plant nuts. That's kind of all we can do here right now. The little egg thing is for invoicing. You can click on your avatar and change what your avatar looks like. You can change the color of their uh, skin the color of their glasses if they have glasses or not you can um, change the styles of things so you can play around here the kids like this because they get to change their own avatar it's really simple but it's so much fun for them because they're used to really boring zoom classes and when they first get their stars and get to do this they get two minutes in there and they will be very 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 excited so they get to pick out clothes the color of their clothes they can pick out their shoes the details on the shoes and um, they can move them around and then when they're all done they're gonna click the little check mark there to get rid of everything over here so they can start moving around over here so click the check mark and then you can walk around and you're going to look for nuts and plant nuts or look for seeds and plant seeds I'm gonna plant a seed right there. Ooh, and there's a seed over there. I'm gonna go get it. I'm 
And then if I want to leave the classroom early, or there's my student, who's actually me. <laughs> if I want to leave the classroom early, I'm just going to click the little X there, and I can leave whenever I want to leave. But they only get two minutes max. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. I'll see you later. Make sure you click subscribe, hit that little bell notification, and check out the other Koala Go playlists. Bye, guys.